Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight. I hope you've had a good week and you're looking forward to the weekend. I certainly am. Now, last time round we worked on episode 11 which was the UK seafront town. Now this for me personally was a really fun episode. Very different to what we have recently been doing, but for me personally it's a very close to home location because it's somewhere that I have been personally and when you're recreating something from memory which is what we basically do when we're building these cities you I don't know for me personally it just brings out a nice feeling the fact that you can place all these buildings down very much from memory look on Google Maps and think to yourself you've done a good job that's what um, was really fun about this build and I really did enjoy the detailing side of things so I hope you enjoyed the format of the last video now having said that, we are going to be working on something very different for episode 12. We're going back rural. And when I say rural, I mean we're going back to farms and villages because, well, the island is very much full of this sort of build. So we are going to be doing that and I am looking forward to doing that. I really am. On screen, you'll see the start of this. and. Basically what happened was we did a bit of this on a live stream a little while back so you can re-watch this. However the footage that I recorded wasn't good enough quality for me to upload as a time lapse. So we are going to carry on from this point. So there will be bits that you may have not seen if you've not watched the live stream. But we're going to carry on from here because it's a different location we're going to end up building today. But we're going to try and join the areas up to make it look a lot more realistic. So that's the plan for today. It's a bit of a strange one because the way that this game is produced, it's all about building up a city, hence the name City Skylines. But I really do enjoy these rural builds. And firstly, we've got to have a big shout out to the likes of Rick4000 and Mac Welshman for creating these buildings that we can use and get away with having as a, a rural build because without them, we wouldn't be able to do this sort of build as successfully, certainly for a UK build, that's for sure. And you'll see me placing down the new road tracks by uh, by Mac Welshman as well, and boy are they good. Such a clever idea, really, really well executed, and they just look, they just look right. It's, you know, they have been missing on the workshop, but I'm really glad that Mac has decided to build these, or create these even because they were lacking and the dirt roads as a standard dirt road in the game in my opinion are terrible um, they I mean they suit certain scenarios but these roads from Mac Welsh and these dirt tracks are perfect and it's something you see so common in this sort of area especially where it's a little track going over to you know the farmers land or a little track going down to a little cottage hidden in sort of forest area it just works and I'm really really pleased to be placing these down they've come out at the perfect timing because I do want to do a bit more rural building from now onwards as well um, and you'll notice as well this time lapse isn't as long as usual because it's not as complicated basically I mean I have detailed as best I could throughout this episode and you'll notice that with the um, cinematics at the end but you know we're not working heavily on a lot of buildings here the villages are scarce there's a lot of gaps a lot of fields in between and yeah it's a little bit of a different build like I said to what we normally work on but having said that I do really enjoy this the themes that are now available in the workshop make this so much more possible to be done and they just it just looks realistic I mean you know Sometimes I build farmlands and think they look more realistic than my city builds and um, we've got obviously the creators and the community to thank for that but the game itself has really changed. I don't know about what you guys think but I would have never thought a couple of years ago that I would be time lapsing me building a farm and building some fields. <laughs> it just doesn't sound interesting does it for a game but the way that it's been presented and the number of new assets and everything that's come out since makes it enjoyable. I really do enjoy these rural builds and that's why I wanted to build the Isle of Wight to show off that the game isn't just all about these pretty beautiful skylines and heavy dense areas. It can look just as beautiful as a rural build. Out in the sticks, lots of fields, or you, we can show off the beautiful trees that are on the workshop and just make it come to life like that. 
I think one thing as well, the fact that I have been working a lot more rural has really made me look at what is possible to be able to be created with decals and using the other resources and changing the map themes to suit those. I mean, before I started working on uh, this, and I, I guess I touched on it on Monaco, but I didn't take advantage of the fact of you can change the, the look of the theme um, via the sort of ore and um, forest area and stuff like that. So being able to change that in the theme mixer um, really does allow you to have different shades of grass because you don't want to be putting decals down across the whole of the map because one, we know what they do to the frames after a while. If you're going to create the whole map with things, it's not sorry with decals. It's not you know, it's not really a good choice to be made if you want your computer to run at a <laughs> decent speed. So using these different resource um, map themes and adding different ones in, you can use that to basically paint different areas on there and uh, just get away with more detail with less hassle and more frames but more importantly and you'll see as well I've been combining a lot of the dirt painter and these beautiful decals on the workshop these I think they're just called the, the, are they the mud ones I think and when you combine the two together and also have some overlapping on the grass you get some really nice textures going like this here I really do enjoy getting these new textures out and I must be I mean I'll be honest I do find new ones each time I work there's never never something that I've used forever I've always tried to experiment with different looks and different um, decals on top of different textures and you can get some amazing combinations between them as well it's really really fun to to work them out I find these network walls as well have really changed the way that I was able to build this particular part of the uh, the area I wanted to sort of create that enclosed feeling I mean if you look at some of the villages from Google Maps certainly around the UK it's quite often they are boxed in and they are normally boxed in by a, a brick wall some foliage some trees and bushes and I wanted to just combine a few different types together and I think these walls really do work well these are the stone walls by uh, Mac Welshman and there's a, a number of them a number of combinations some of them have grass next to them some of them have trees and some of them have nothing and it's just another way to get detail down quickly but not affecting the frame so much so that's another great addition to the workshop and uh, I've really taken advantage of that in this build I've used these walls a lot but I really do like the look of them I don't know if you do guys let me know in the comment section below if you think they look realistic or maybe a bit too much but personally for me I like them Combine that with the uh, the wire fences as well and using just some standard bushes to create some hedgerow. I think those three are perfect options for you to create some beautiful looking village areas. Now this building here that we are working on, it actually I believe is a school, which um, I didn't realise it was at first and it doesn't quite fit into what I my narrative was in my head for this area. I was just hoping this was a... Uh, sort of a, a barn converted into some houses sort of approach but it is actually a school which isn't the worst scenario um, I mean we'll be getting some people over here as well um, to go to the school which uh, will make the population a bit bigger in this area um, I mean the only downside to building these villages is the fact that you don't get a lot of traffic and you'll notice that in the cinematics despite them looking beautiful and glorious and green and all of that there's no traffic at the moment. Um, I know that it will happen eventually and I'm probably gonna place down some of the PPGs to get some people come in, but uh, uh, that's probably gonna take some time before it happens. So I'm not too fussed about that. Um, but yeah, that's something that I need to consider when we work on these villages, but eventually it's gonna hopefully have a feeling of a network of villages around these areas. So you're gonna have the towns and then in between the towns you have some of the fields with some villages so hopefully as one person drives from town to town or town to village we should hopefully get the roads a bit more busier and we should see the map come to life it's going to take a bit of time but it will happen and it will happen a bit quicker because as i mentioned last time we do have a new guest builder for the series and i'm not going to tell you who it is i'm going to once again keep you 
in the lurch about it, but let's jump into a quick little preview of who is coming up next week on the Isle of Wight guest build. So did you guess who it is? Let me know in the comment section below and we'll find out next week. But back into the build. So this little area here, I wanted to kind of add a couple of little settlements. Um, I mean, when I was looking around this area and similar areas in the UK, you get a small little segment of housing and buildings around. You get the odd farm and then you get a few little houses around. So that was the sort of plan here. I wanted to not only have the farm to the right hand side but I wanted to have a little area here where people are also living so these are very small sort of a scatterment of village houses um, around here a few barns as you can see so I wanted to try and adapt the look of this area and try and make things a little bit different than I would do normally and um, yeah just try and make things a little bit more unusual I guess but re in a realistic way and I think when you look from above at the end of the cinematics, it looks a lot more realistic when you've got this approach. Rather than having it too blocky and a bit too, you know, unnatural looking, it's that it's that messiness where it looks more realistic in my eyes. If you make things look too obvious um, in terms of the build and location, sometimes it doesn't quite work out. Certainly I found that to be more of the case when you're doing these sort of farm areas and the rural builds. Obviously with a, a big built up city you can get away with a lot going on at once. So it's also making these little bits, I really, really did enjoy doing these little segments here and what I mean by that is just openings and gaps in the field and just sort of thinking logistically like how would a farmer get to this field? Would this farmer bring a tractor down here? If so, how would he go? Would there be little areas that would be more sort of worn out and muddy because of that? And it's those little things that when you put it all down into detail, it makes more sense. So going back to my comment earlier about taking advantage of the uh, the resources such as the ore, etc. This is a prime example of what I was getting at. So you'll see here before it was all green, luscious grass, but now we've added in this more yellowy texture. We can sort of get away from bird's eye view of this being more of a, a you know crop field and. From afar it looks a lot more realistic and it just, again, it just advances and changes things a little bit. Now with that said, it is a bit of a shorter episode this week, but purely because it was a lot quicker for me to build as it was normally. So I'll leave you guys with a little bit of a before after coming up and some cinematics and we'll catch up again next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Don't miss next week's guest build. We'll be having a very special episode for that. Other than that guys, have a good one, thanks for watching, and all the best.